Hello guys and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Eva, a Kenyan YouTuber currently based in Machakos, eastern part of Kenya, and I create content on travel and lifestyle. Well, our business in this channel is basically sharing our travel experiences by exploring different destinations, from villages to towns to cities to nations. Again, we also talk life matters, we talk money, we talk marriage, we talk education, we talk health, everything life. So if you're interested in such kind of vibe, such kind of content, kindly just tap that subscribe button down there. Again, remember to put your notification bell on so that you can get notified whenever I post content. How is 2020 treating you guys? Well, it's a question that I keep asking and I will ask again and again. Let me know in the comment section how your 2020 has been so far. Mine has been to a larger extent okay, okay meaning not 100% but we thank God and we are slowly getting there. Why is not 100%? Uh, YouTube wise I'm not doing so well why you guys have been watching my videos but not subscribing according to my analytics 60% of you guys have been watching my videos but have not yet considered subscribing to the channel so if you are watching this kindly down there the red button just tap on that subscribe button and support your girl well, today's video is a continuation of a video that I did a few months ago. It was a video about Akamba names and their meanings. Maybe a recap of the previous video. I told you that the Akamba people usually name their kids based on the circumstances that surround their birth. I gave you an example of Nduko, my sister's name. Nduko and Motuko. These two were both born during the night. Uh, Motuko is a male name given to a baby boy born during the night. Same case to Nduko is a female name given to a baby girl born during the night. Well, now let's get down to today's list. I think I read about six to eight names and you requested that I do more Kamba names. So you request it. I bring it to you. Hmm. So today we start with Macau and uh, Sio Kau. These two we are born during a time of war so don't dare test their temper. They are always ready to fight back. Do not test their temper. Well uh, another name is uh, Mwendwa and uh, Mwende. The sweethearts, the darlings, the beloved in the family. So do not mess with Mwendes, do not mess with Mwendwas, because their families will come for you. Now, Mwendwa is a male name given to a baby boy who is considered the sweetheart of the family. Same case to Mwende is a female name given to a baby girl who is considered the darling of the family. So these two names are like are given to like the favorite kids in the family. Okay, another name is Munyao and uh, Wayua. Now these two are special. They were born during a time of famine and drought. So whenever you are handling a Munyao or a Wayua, please be careful. Just be good to them. They were born during hard times. <laughs> and if you are in a food place, just allow them to have that extra spoon of food, that extra bite. Just allow them, allow them. They were born during a hard time. <laughs> okay, another pair of names is uh, Mutinda, Mutindi, Dinda, Dindi. Now, these were born after a long wait. They are like their parents had waited for so long to have them, hence the name Mutinda, Mutindi, 
Linda, Lindy. Okay. Well, another pair of names is uh, Mekala and uh, Mwikali. Now, these two apparently took so long to come out that they didn't want to come to this world. They subjected their mothers to so much pain in that their mothers underwent a longer, like an extended labor period before giving birth to them. So don't judge them if they are so attached to their moms. It's like deep down they understand what they subjected their mothers to. Uh, let's come to Mumbai. Now you guys, Mumbai in Kikamba is pronounced Mumbai. Mumbai is a female name given to a baby girl who is considered very beautiful. Yani mumbe ni kichuna, mumbe ni kitu. Mumbe, mumbe, mumbe is a beautiful girl. Okay, now this category of people are given such names because their mothers underwent several miscarriages before they came to pass. So you'll come across people by the name Snake. Yes. Zoka. Now snake is Zoka in Kikamba. So you come you might come across a person called Zoka, another one Zoka meaning snake. You'll come across another person by the name Goku. Goku is chicken. You come across another person by the name Biti. Biti is a hina. So such people are given such names to like scare away bad omen of miscarriage. So don't judge them. These people are given such names because of a reason. Their parents, their mothers went through miscarriages before they were given birth to. So don't laugh at them. Okay, then uh, there's this category of names which parents give names to their kids based on what they want their kids what or how they want their kids to be uh, an example is a ngumbao ngumbao means brave so it's usually it's commonly given to baby boys so ngumbao means uh, the brave one or the courageous one so if a parent gives the name ngumbao to their kids it means that they want their kids to grow up being very courageous very confident yeah. Then uh, this Mudui. Mudui means the rich one. So if you if a parent gives birth to a kid and they want they wish for them to be very rich, to have so much resources, then uh, then they will give their kid the name Mudui. Another name is Mwini. Mwini is a musician. So if parents give birth to a kid and they feel that we want our baby to grow up to be a musician, then in Cumberland, they'll give that kid the name Mwini. Another name is Mowo. Mowo meaning peace. Now, if parents give birth to a kid, they want, it can be shared by both genders, by the way, uh, then uh, if parents give birth to a kid and they want the kid to be like the ambassador of peace like to be the one neutralizing harsh harsh moments they, then they will give then they will decide to give the kid the name Mowo, meaning peace another name is Bati or Chama Chama is a miracle Vati is a fortune. Now, if parents wish good things for their, of course, all parents wish good things for their kids, but some go to a greater extent to give their kids names to portray that special thing in them. Like they want their kids to be lucky, so they give them the name Vati. If they want the kids to be, they consider their kid a miracle, 
student in Kampa land shall call you Chama. And finally, guys, let me share with you some names which are commonly shared among both genders in Kampani. And uh, I have a list of around five. One is Motinda. If it's given to a male, then it should be pronounced as Motinda. If it's given to a female, then it will be pronounced as Motinda. Then there is Mumo. It's usually common in uh, the Kitri region, Kitri Makueni region. You'll come across a man by a man or a boy by the name Mumo. You come across a woman or a girl by the name Mumo. So it's shared by both genders. Another name is Mbada. Mbada is given to twins. So if uh, it's a male and a female twin, then they can all share the same name of Mbada. One can be no, the one can be given the name Bada, Ibada meaning twin. Okay, another one is Mutio. I've not come across a man by the name Mutio. I'm yet to, but someone told me that it's shared, especially in Makueni. Let me know in the comment section whether you know of a man by the name Mutio. Another one is Mweke. Mweke, I only know of the of females, but I've not I've not yet. Hmm, have I really? Mm hmm, I'm not so sure. Uh, okay, I'm only aware of Mweke, the female, but I've not yet met a male by the name Mweke. So if you know of a male, a Kamba male by the name Mweke, let me know in the comment section too. If you'd like. More Kamba names and their meanings are part three of the same. Then uh, let me know in the comment section. As I have told you guys, you request it, then I bring it to you. So thank you for watching. Let's catch up in my next video. Sante ni sana.